Let's move in to the postseason awards here that have come, you know, out recently for girls basketball at least. And in section two, it was just filled with all basically of our local girls. You know, just kudos to everybody in section two. Of course, Marie McCracken for Ephrata wins the section MVP. Coach Brian Cerullo, as you said, coach of the year in section two. Marie McCracken, her teammate Leah Caldwell, and then Maddie Gaiman and Gianna Walters, those two freshmen from Mannheim. Senior Bella Smithson, the only senior to make the first team all-star squad in section two. It's all our girls. It, it, it was such a, a heavy focus on that this year, Eric. And kudos not only to Marie McCracken, you know, Coach Cerullo, but all those young ladies making the first team. You know, it was, it was pretty exciting to see yeah. so many familiar names on that list. That that is that is awesome. Congratulations to all of them. I mean, that is, yeah. And and you know, we've talked about it. I know you and Tim have talked about it. That you know, the fact that you know, we are just so blessed that we're seeing teams you know rising up and just giving us some tremendous ball games. Whether it's basketball, volleyball, football, you know, baseball. I mean, we we really do have some tremendous schools uh, as far as their athletic programs are concerned you know I and mean, we saw a mccracken on the football field doing big things and now we see a mccracken on the basketball floor doing big things so it, it's i tell you what it's it's been a joy this season and we still have the spring season to go that's true yeah mccracken uh wins the MVP award. I'd have to imagine it's a lot for defense more than offense too, right? I mean, she can score, but she does a lot of that that turns into offense too. So she's a very yep. quality two-way player. She doesn't even lead uh, some of the girls in the first team in scoring. You know, typically it's whoever's scoring the most in section two, you know, whether it's a Jasmine Griffin or a Maddie Nyer, you know, or, or on and on years before that. But, you know, I think McCracken got a lot of it because of her defense as well. I mean, she just, she's so fast. She gets so many steals. She turns that into offense, so defense to offense, and, you know, and, and is only a sophomore. Well, and, and, it, and it's kind of nice that, you know, she gets that recognition even though she's not a – point scorer but she makes quite an impact on the floor in so many other ways and that's nice that she gets recognized for that all right so section two again had ton a ton of our players uh and just really wanted to get them some recognition there that was voted on by the coaches and and, and media and such too that wasn't just you know a, a reporter handing that out that that's official that's on the record. Uh, kudos to everybody there in Section 2. In Section 3, uh, not as many of our teams live there. It's really only Cacalico that lives there. And uh, Section 3 has to kind of compete against Lancaster Catholic and, and Northern Lebanon. So not necessarily getting the uh, MVP, which went to Mary Bolesky from Lancaster Catholic. Rightly so. She averaged 14 and a half points per game. But Cacalico's Andrew Garrett does earn Coach of the Year. And then a freshman-senior combo there, Eric, and Kira Lehman, the freshman, Addie Martin, the senior. They both make it on the squad of first-team Section 3 All-Stars. And I just wanted to give them kudos as well because in a section that was dominated by a very, very, very good Lancaster Catholic team, uh, there's two young ladies there from, from Cacalico. Addie Martin had herself a pretty good season, 13.5 points per game. She gets hurt halfway through, wasn't able to finish out uh, her senior year, Kira Lehman had to step in as this freshman who was just figuring things out, and, and she was kind of forced into the leading scoring role, and she did well. And she finished with 9.5 points per game, 224 for the season. And I like what Cacalico has with, with Kira Lehman. They're going to have to find some pieces around her, but kudos to the Cacalico program who found themselves back in the district playoffs and you know had two solid players here that got all-star honors. Yeah, and and it's a shame that you know Addie Martin had to deal with that injury and and miss that significant time down the stretch. But uh, again, it just goes back to okay, the man in charge, Coach Andrew Garrett, the way that he was able to to rally the girls and put girls in situations like okay, we need you to step up here, we need you to step here. This is what we need out of you, and they did that. And you know, like you said too, in a section that. Everybody looks at Lancaster Catholic to dominate in every possible uh, way, you know, with wins, losses, section titles, so on and so forth. To see two girls and Coach Garrett get the recognition, uh, I'd say, I think that says phenomenal things about the program up in, up in Denver.